Yo, I've never been to this gas station ever. Have you guys ever heard of Bucky's? Me either. First time here. Mad fast, my first time for well, a lot of things in this video, man. Stay tuned. Let's go, you on. Got the on feet, man. We got the Justin Timberlake. What's poppin' on the video? Right there, back in the building. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. I had to re record this. How? Yo, this place is huge, bro. From a distance, I thought it was a Sam's Club. I'm like, this thing's too big to be like a gas station. But yo, they sell everything in this joint. I mean, they got desserts from brownies with walnuts. They got everything. Got everything. Peanut, peanut pecan, a butter pecan, chocolate walnuts, cookies and cream, chocolate pecan. Bro, they got everything. And if you don't want sweets, get yourself a nice sloppy joe. Certified Angus beef. Got it all wrapped up for you. Pre-made, just grab it and go. If that's not good enough, you can place your order right here. Bucky's, or yourself a hot dog size wrap sandwich, and you'll pick it up from right over here, y'all. It's crazy, yo. Never been in this spot before. First for everything. But this spot is not the reason why I'm here. The reason I'm here is because I had to get gas. <laughs> Of course, what's why I be at a gas station? This is the reason why I'm here, y'all. Tanger Outlets. It's been a good, good, good minute since I last visit. Probably three, no, four, possibly four and a half, five years, y'all. All right, y'all. So this is the real reason why I'm here. This is it, y'all. Right there. That's the real reason. I haven't been here in years, man. Probably four years from line five. Been a good, good, good minute. Also, I'm not sure if I ever told you guys, but to the left of my screen, if you notice, if you open the Nike Plus app, it knows where you're at, and it'll tell you what's in the building before you get in the building. So I kind of know what sneakers was here before I got here. So just open your Nike Plus app if you're in the vicinity or in the store, and kind of scroll through to see what's in the building. All right, let's get to work. Right now, I'm in apparel, and you already know, all sneaker brand is repping the USA color theme, man. So you can see a lot of blue, white, and red joints. Today I got casual Frank. Got some ACG joints on right now. Second time wearing them. Got me some swim trunks on, black tee. Keeping it super simple. I'm keeping it kiss. Yo, these owls are bare, bro. Damn, only three shoes in this aisle. This is one of them, Kyrie Fly Trap 4s. Then you got these joints here. That's it. We'll definitely come through the hash wall. Um, well, we're here now. Was it size 12? Yeah. USA color theme, USA color theme. Are these Barclays, Bo Jacksons? Ah, these are alpha joints. Cross trainer lows for 50 beans, size 14 though. Not my size. Yo, this whole aisle right here is there. Ain't nothing popping off in on the left hand side. The 2017s that was recreated in 2021. Haven't seen this, I have. We just saw those. I saw these in my last outlet vlog. I'll show when you guys are seeing that. 55 elements for 90, same price everywhere. Five elements. Damn, more 2017s. It's probably made in uh, 2020. Or probably 2021, who knows? I can't remember at this point. Yo, I think that's it, y'all. <laughs> that's the end of the road, man. Because on the other shelf, nothing, nothing, nothing. Yo, five years. I wonder why I haven't been back. But we'll keep looking, though. There's another basketball aisle I didn't go through because it was kind of packed. More beer shelves. Got the Monarchs. It's the only familiar shoe that I see. What are these? Revolution, Revolution 5s. Never heard. Monarchs. You got the PCGs. What are they sitting for? 40 beans. You Small size, size 8, though. Let's take a look at some... Uh, Females and tissues. Bro, I've been up and down the women's section to find something to film for you guys, but there's nothing here. If you don't see anything that I'm recording for women, it's because there's nothing to show. I'm going to turn the camera on just to show you there's nothing to show. It's probably the best aisle I've been down. Man, this sucks, y'all. This looks more remotely interesting, but there's really nothing that I would buy for my wife or, or recommend to any one of you guys, man, because I don't see nothing popping off. All right, these are cool. These are the 13s. But they're hitting for 170. They also got the new joints. I'm sorry, these are the 12s. 12s or 13s? It's gotta be the 14s. I'm tripping, y'all. I'm just having a, yeah. I'm, I don't know why. I got confused with 13s and 14s. 95s. The NCAP is probably the best thing going on in here. And they do got the LeBron Soldier joints for 100 beans in the black and white colorway. Remotely one of the best shoes in here. What else? What else? I think that's it. So I ain't gonna do y'all like that, man. So we about pop into other spots. We can check uh, Reebok out and then probably go to Converse after the fact. We're in a Reebok store in the men's section. 
I'm looking for questions because that's pretty much the only thing I rock out of here. Also, some theories. If I could find any, I don't see no no questions, yo. You would think that's what they would have. These are the classic joints right here. 65 beans for those. I like the black with gum bottom. Those are 75. Oh, they got the nylon joints. Old school at its best, bro. All right, it's been this corner. It's a hash wall. I could comb through some of these just to see. Nah. You got the leather joints right here. This is cool, all black. They got the canvas joints, hard pass. Colorway is cool, but still a hard pass. Why not? Might as well just go inside. The way Converse is set up is always in bends. They really have shells, which I have seen other spots that did, but this one doesn't appear to have shells. What are these? Okay. ERX260. 70 beans. Man, you got pluck shoes out the bin, yo. This one got a fanny pack on them. They're going for 55. Colorway is cool. These look crazy. Camel joints. I don't know too much about Converse, man. Other than the All Star Chuck Taylor joint. These I have never seen in style silhouette. Look more of a sneaker than anything. I typically don't come like this, but well done. Don't look that bad. Now, these don't look that bad. I haven't slipped in promotion and they're very light very light they're not that bad and this is the only row i see in here of shoes on on the shelves chuck taylor's lows though 55 beans for those they also have them in um black same price they also have them in red lows same price you also have them in highs for five dollars more 60 beans for these again excluded from all promotions chuck taylor all-star joints under armor i never go well 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 there's some Adidas out here, y'all. We about going in and see what's popping. I doubt anything will be popping though. This is anything like this outlet. Ain't really nothing going on. Excuse me. Sorry about that. What's up, man? I just hit the dude with the door, man. I didn't know that thing's gonna swing open so hard. But anyways, we in here. We'll go straight to men's. I'm not even gonna edit this portion. All right, boom. You already seen what we got. Swift fronts, pass. You got the white joints to it, pass. You also got the red joints to it. We passing. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Stan Smith and Green. Yeah, we're gonna pass. What else? I do got the gum bottoms on this XPLR. It's crazy, you know how the name schemes go. I did see these in my other Adidas outlet vlog. And my other Adidas outlet. 40% off 100. Night joggers, 129 with 40 off. I do like these stuff, 109 with 40 off. I like those, we pass them. What else? We got some Ultra Boost for 119. Multicolor, SNL Pride. And also got a black pair. Same price, 119. What's different for me, which I haven't seen ever, maybe I have, but I don't remember ever recording it, is these joints right here. These are going for 80 with 40% off. They got boots on them now. They got boots on these joints. I think it's a soccer shoe. We in women's right now. 119 for these Ultra Boosts and all red. Not a bad colorway, I actually like this shoe. Like it for men's as well, man. Not a bad price. Ultra Boost. Oh, how cute. They got some um, MNDs, R1C. Tallest, like for Jordan. Jordan can wear these, yo. 40% off of uh, 80 beans. Not bad. They also got them in black as well. That's pretty dope. What's cool, because they got boost. It's clearly not prime knit, but they got boost. So that'll do. More youth shoe. Ultra Boost 4.0 in all black. Exclude from promotions. You got the pepper joints right here with prime knits. Exclude from promotions, 160. And what else you got? The only thing that caught my eye was behind the counter. Those hardens, and it's a size 12, my size. I wonder, going, I wonder what they're going for. So I tried these on. I feel comfortable, I probably have to go size 11 and a half, just so it can fit more snug. So those hardens was uh, $79 after the discount, and I'm being like $83, man. Not a bad price. Trying them on and everything, they feel okay. They feel like, damn, they feel good. I didn't have that moment, but it's not a bad price, man. Not a bad price. This is a wrap for me. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna post this video. If I do post this video, it's probably gonna be titled something like, I should have never posted. I hope you guys enjoy it anyways, whatever you can make of it. If video ain't too long, man. I may have something after this clip. If not, it's just gonna be me wrapping it up. Oh man, is this steady? Let me check. Hope it is. But anyways, man, thank you guys for watching all the way through. I know this is not my typical scenery. Nor have I ever laid in the bed and talked to you guys. But this is the first thing for everything. I told you guys I'm going to be taking my talent to the road. So Daytona was one spot. We've been to Tampa. We've been to Miami. 
it's time for me to leave the state and that's what I have done. That's where I'm at. And I'm doing my outro at a whole different spot because I'm in an Airbnb. Um, I'll explain later why I'm out here. Obviously it's great news. It's great news. I have nothing related to vlogs or anything like that. But I'm gonna take advantage of um, the Nike clearance stores, which I already shot. Should be working on the Nike store here shortly. So that's gonna be up next. Daytona, back to Daytona. Was very disappointing. The Nike store, there was like no shoes on the shelves. A lot of people's like, yo, it's dry, it's always been dry. And personally, that's the reason why I haven't been back there. I haven't been back there since I moved. Matter of fact, I haven't been back there probably a year and a half while I was still in Ocala. If you guys are new to the channel, I live in a whole different city. I currently recently, well, not recently, now it's going on three years that I have lived in Orlando. And the last time I've been to that Nike outlet was probably like four years ago. So this is my first time back. I even drove past that outlet, heading to another outlet because I I don't have fond memories of that outlet being something to pull up and go shop and see what's popping. Now I did it. But anyways, um, I had to go back. I had to see for myself, see if anything's changed. Yeah, kind of disappointed. So I went to the Converse spot, nothing in Converse. You know, I really don't go in Converse. It's been a long time since I've been in Converse too, but while I was there, I had to make up some past times and visit Converse, Reeboks, and Adidas. Adidas did have those hardest, which I tried on, and it took everything in me not to buy them. I think they was cool. It's the shoe I would rock, definitely. But I felt for some reason I needed 11 and a half. I don't know how true that is. Maybe because I didn't want to make an impulse buy, especially for a basketball shoe, because I got tons of basketball shoes, and I haven't been rocking a lot of Adidas basketball shoes recently. But those hardest I do want, and I want it to be the right color for the right price. The price wasn't bad, the color is okay. The fit wasn't like, I must have, great deal, great price, good sizing, no, that wasn't the case. But I appreciate you guys for watching anyways. Sorry for the disappointment, but I promise you there's gonna be a lot of new videos and better videos than that outlet. Stay tuned, all right? Hold on, man, I'm gonna be dropping videos every single day. If this internet allows me to, yo, this internet is crappy, man. It took me like four hours just to get the video you probably watched before this up. So I'm doing these videos like, or outros prematurely so I can like upload the video like an hour in advance because you never know how long that's gonna take. But anyways, um, talk y'all to death. Sorry for this video, the outlet. Sorry for this long outro, but you guys take care. I'll see y'all in the next video. If you're new and you like what you just saw, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And everyone, keep leaving those comments. I promise you I'll get back to you. I promise, stay, keep leaving them, all right? Uh, you guys already know my slogan, good to go. So wrap. Peace.